The firing of Rose comes after weeks of new allegations against politicians, entertainers, and other journalists. Cronkite News reporter Sydney Eisenberg is looking into the challenges faced in all workplaces when dealing with sexual harassment policies and claims. Harvey Weinstein, Roy Moore, Senator Al Franken, just a few of the names currently facing allegations of sexual harassment. Thank now, you. add Michigan Representative John Conyers to the list. Thank BuzzFeed you. reported Monday that Conyers' office paid a woman more than $27,000 under a confidentiality agreement to settle a harassment complaint. Teresa Marzolf, owner of Culture Engineered, a human relations consulting firm, says those claims are not a new phenomenon and each one must be looked into. And also be sensitive to um, the fact that questioning can sometimes be um, uh, hard for that person. It's very emotional, whatever they're sharing with you. So block out time, uninterrupted time. However, questioning someone does not always go over well. You know, I've had several conversations with leaders and they immediately are upset that their integrity is being questioned and who isn't. Marzolf says preventing sexual misconduct in the workplace takes time. A lot of companies just hit a handbook first day and you never talk about it again or you only hear about it when you're in trouble. That should be really something if you have a handbook or maybe just a core set of values should be accessible all the time and something frequently revisited. Records from the U.S. Office of Compliance show Congress has used 17 million dollars of taxpayer money to settle discrimination suits since 1997. That encompasses all kinds of discrimination suits, not just sexual harassment. But that figure could be higher since it wouldn't include severance payments. In Phoenix, Sydney Eisenberg, Cronkite News. The conversation on sexual harassment continues tonight on Arizona Horizon. Stay tuned for a discussion with a Valley lawyer who specializes in workplace harassment.